Carolina geranium is a wildflower that grows throughout the United States, but it can be deemed a nuisance weed when it grows in undesirable areas. Carolina geranium has a mat-like growth pattern that easily smothers turf grass, and their seeds contain a hard coating that make it difficult for some pre-emergent herbicides to penetrate. In this video, we'll go over how to identify Carolina geranium, how to get rid of this weed on your property, and how to prevent it from growing back. Check the video's description for timestamps if you want to jump to a specific point. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Carolina geranium is a broadleaf weed whose leaves grow deeply lobed with 5 to 9 lobed pointed segments. The leaves are hairy on both sides and are usually green in color. In certain weather conditions, the leaves may turn red. The stems can also vary in color from green to red as well. When young, these plants grow low as basal rosettes. As they mature, the stems grow upward and branch freely. The stems can reach up to 24 inches in horizontal length, while the plant can grow up to 12 inches in height. The weeds grow small clusters of flowers that have five petals and are whitish pink to purple in color. Eventually, these plants, also known as Carolina Crane's Bill, produce slender fruits in the shape of a crane's bill. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Carolina geranium grows well in full or partial sunlight in soil that is gravelly or sandy where the turf is thin. You may find this plant growing in lawns, landscape bedding, along roadsides, and in ditch banks. Carolina geranium is a winter annual. Flowers begin to bloom from March to May and mature from May to August. Seeds mature and set from May to June. Be on the lookout for dense mats of rosettes early in its growth cycle. Later in the season, you can easily spot these plants by looking for their seeds. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until products dry completely. To eliminate Carolina geranium on commercial or residential properties, use a selective post-emergent herbicide that's labeled not to injure your property's turf grass. If you have weeds growing on properties with cool season grasses, we recommend 2,4-Diamine. The labeled application rate for spot treatments with this product is one quarter of a pint of concentrate mixed into three gallons of water, or one and two thirds fluid ounces of concentrate mixed into one gallon of water. If you have weeds growing on properties with warm season grasses, we recommend Fahrenheit herbicide. For spot applications, mix 0.2 ounces of the product per one gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet. Keep in mind that when making applications over St. Augustine grass, Bermuda grass, or Zoysia grass, temporary stunting or chlorosis may occur. To enhance this product's efficacy, mix in a surfactant like Nanotech. Nanotech is a non-herbicide product designed to improve the adhesion and penetration of pesticides onto treated surfaces. Just add one fluid ounce per one gallon of solution. For either of these products, we recommend you mix and apply your herbicide with a handheld sprayer. Spot treat any weed you've found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. Conduct follow-up applications as necessary. Reapplication intervals with 2,4-Diamine range from 21 to 30 days. Reapplication intervals with Fahrenheit range from 4 to 6 weeks. Applications are most effective when the plant is young and actively growing before flower or seed production. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. To prevent new weeds from germinating in areas like residential lawns, apply a pre-emergent herbicide like Dithiapyr 2EW. Dithiapyr 2EW is a liquid pre-emergent herbicide that prevents broadleaf weeds from emerging. Mix 0.73 fluid ounces of the product per one gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet and broadcast the solution evenly over the treatment area. After six hours have passed, irrigate the area with half an inch of water. Next, apply fertilizer to promote your lawn's health. Fertilizer provides your turf with essential nutrients that help the grass defend itself against weeds, pests, and diseases. Consider Solutions 15510 Weed and Feed with Trimec. 
This product in particular will eliminate weeds while providing a steady supply of nutrients for your turf. For general applications, you can distribute at a rate of 3.2 to 4.0 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can remove Carolina geranium from your property, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.